This is your Boomer Tech Guide, Chris Toy, and I'm going to show you how you can maximize the quality of your videos that you take on your iPhone. We'll start by tapping on the gray gear settings, and there we will go into the search window and we will start typing camera and our camera setting should pop right up. I'm going to tap on the gray icon for camera. And we have some choices here. I'm going to tap on formats. And when I do that, I'm going to have two choices. I can choose high efficiency or most compatible. I've chosen most compatible because that's going to allow me to maximize the quality of the videos. Keep in mind that the higher the quality of the video, the larger the file will be. It'll take up more space on your phone. So if you want to be able to trade off between file size and the quality of the video, you would choose high efficiency. So if you don't have much room on your phone, you have a lot of stuff on your phone, you may want to choose high efficiency. Or you could start deleting unneeded files from your phone, which would give you more room. And then you could choose most compatible. So I've chosen most compatible. And I'm going to go back to the camera up top. And I'm going to now tap on record video. And when I tap on that, you're going to see two sets of numbers and letters. The first number is the number of pixels that are going to be on a frame. The higher the number, the more pixels and Therefore, the higher the quality of the picture. So 720 is the lowest, and you can see it kind of goes up as you go further down the list. And 4K is the highest number, and so that'll be the highest quality. The second number and set of initials, for example, at the top would be 30 FPS. FPS means frames per second. The more frames per second, the smoother the video will be. So 30 frames per second is the lowest in terms of its smoothness. And as you go up, you'll see down at the bottom, which I've checked off, the 4K at 60 frames per second will be the best quality, but again, it'll take the most space. So I'm going to hit back now. And we'll tap on record slow mo. So that's your slow motion camera. And once again, you have the set of pixels. And then you also have the number of frames per second. Again, I've chosen the highest number of pixels and the highest number of frames per second. And at the bottom, you'll see that it will actually describe how much space a file will take, a one minute file taken with slow-mo at the different qualities will take. I'm gonna hit the back arrow now. So that's really how you can play with the quality of your video and trading it off for the size of the files. The last thing I'd like to show you is we slide down and you'll see we're down to composition. And I'll just leave you with this. You'll see there's a grid option and you want to turn that grid on, which will give you the grid when you go to the camera, you'll see that tic-tac-toe, and that grid will actually help you to compose your 
images using the rule of thirds. Generally speaking, you don't want to shoot things right in the middle. You want to try to have the focal point of your image to intersect at one of those four intersected lines on your tic-tac-toe there. So one third from the top or the bottom or the side left or right. So turn the grid on and that will give you some ideas as to how you might want to um, format your pictures when you take them. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time. That's it for now. Chris Toy from Boomer Tech Adventures.